you know what people, I was going to take today off and may this Sunday be the very first day I haven't posted a cyberpunk video since the game's release. But I thought I'd just drop a quick video discussing the latest news, how modders are seemingly carrying the game and a few other updates including channel updates too. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So firstly a little on the channel. As I've been told numerous times now that I should move on from cyberpunk as this game isn't going anywhere. And to be honest guys, after looking around it seems as though most people who are or were covering this game have either moved on or just turned to that negativity and posting for those views. I mean it works, people thrive off negativity. But to be honest, I am not bad at life. Yes, views are relatively low for this game, for a channel of my size. Yes, this game released in a shite state. But if I like the game, I'm going to post about it and not try to just bury it. Because that isn't me. So I will stick with it. I will probably slow down on the uploads. And when other games like Outriders arrive, Destiny gets decent DLC or anything else that tickles my pickle pops up, I will obviously post content on them. But at the same time, I won't give up on this game because I genuinely feel that underneath all the bugs and glitches is a great, great game. And I will give it time and allow for CDPR to sort their problems out and will continue posting where and when I can. I mean, after looking around, it does seem as though I'm one of a few other YouTube channels now who are still posting and enjoying this game and not posting it just to bash on it just for those views. Which I mean works, like I said, I ain't gonna hate on anybody who does it. It makes them money, so fair play. But to me, after doing YouTube for what, almost 14 years now? At this point in time, I just don't feel that jumping on a hate bandwagon for views is the right thing to do even if it puts money in my pockets i mean i'd rather not as to be honest i'd be kind of lying to you in my content because i enjoy this game so we'll continue playing and enjoying this game it's as simple as that okay so let's move on and i mentioned this the other day but I didn't actually have an actual source i could bring to you guys so we will cover it today with said source and to be honest guys i'm actually loving this side of the game and it's giving me even more longevity and those are those pc mods now PC mods for Cyberpunk are both incredible and bizarre at the same time, I've covered all kinds of them. But what they are doing for a lot of people including myself is bringing longevity to the game and keeping it interesting for people like me who've ran it over and over. People are 400 hours in and counting. Now it's got to a stage where people think mods are actually carrying the game. See how you please. They are certainly helping for sure and it has got to a point now where CDPR have picked up on this side of the game and have actually officially released resources for modders to help modders to get their work out, as you can see on the screen now. Now this is great to see, and it is entirely up to you whether you use these or not, agree with them or not, but the modding community is utterly massive, and a lot of the work these modders do is incredible. So it's good to see CDPR picking up on this, as well as supporting and supplying resources to assist modders in their work. So we may see some super interesting mods in the near future and as you guys know I absolutely love covering them so expect way more from me. And if this is something you are interested in, in these modding resources, you can always check them out with the link down below. Okay so moving on, and stocks of recent have been kind of big news with Dogecoin, AMC and so many others. And while just the other day guys, Cyberpunk's creators in CD Projekt SA's stock surged by around 19% after no doubt taking a full since release. And this happened guys due to a certain someone who goes by the name of Elon Musk tweeting the following, where he was in talking about the new Tesla being able to play games. He said this and a few other things about Cyberpunk 2077. And after this, the after effect was around 19% growth in CD Projekt SA's stocks, which is crazy to think about people, I mean because it's actually massive, 19% is a ludicrous amount. Now we also know that Grimes, who is Elon's girlfriend, is also the voice actor to Lizzy Wizzy, so the ties are there too. He does have reason to like the game, but in actual fact people, it is a good game, underneath the bugs and glitches. Even if it isn't the game we were promised, it's still a good game. And with that, we move on to the 1.2 patch. 
And although this isn't real news, I will mention that the second of the big patches should be expected sometime within February. What this patch may include and the changes it brings I feel are super important to this game and they need to make an impact. The patch 1.1 did make an impact but for the wrong reasons. Yes it fixed issues but at the same time it brought new ones with it. The 1.2 can't do that. We need to see and feel proper changes. As it was said that the 1.1 patch were the foundations to the 1.2. So we will see people. When news drops though on that patch I will have you covered right here on my channel. But yeah guys just a quick one for today and I hope you enjoyed it. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.